the Fort Wayne Community School Board of Trustees. Um, we begin every meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you would stand, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And roll call members. Good evening and welcome. Steve Corona from the 5th District. Good evening. Glenna Yale from the 2nd District. Tom Smith from the 3rd District. Maria Norman, member at large. Um, and I'm Julie Hollingsworth, elected from District 1. Um, Ann Duff is at her... Uh, um, I mean, her son's uh, National, Honor. National Honor Society induction tonight, so she's also doing the parent thing. And did you say Jordan's on his way, fighting his way through traffic? Yes. Okay. Um, and on my far left is Janet Doherty, the clerk of the board. Good evening. And our superintendent, Dr. Wendy Robinson. Good evening. Good evening. Well, we've got a lot on our agenda, so this is purely an awards and recognition um, meeting, and so we will get right to it. And Tom, you are going to take the All-State Children's Choir. Thank you. It is recommended that the board recognize St. Joseph Central and Weiser Park Arts Magnet students for their selection and participation <coughs> in the Indiana All-State Children's Honor Choir. <laughs> Members of the 2018 Indiana Music Educators Association All States Children's Honor Choir are chosen by audition. This year, over 600 auditions were submitted for this choir, and stu students chosen attended the Music Educator State Conference in January. They rehearsed and performed with some of the best young singers from the entire state. Now I'm going to call off the names of some students, and as my name is read, you may please come forward. The first group is from St. Joseph Central, and the first student is Hannah Luther. She's got her t-shirt. Awesome. Next is Claire Sponseller. Next is Skylar Bollinger. Next is Wyatt Sponseller. You get two of them tonight. The next one's not here. Juliana here. All right. And the last person to come forward would be Caitlin Louder, or Loader, excuse me. <laughs> Say it louder. Louder. <laughs> louder. <laughs> and uh, Laura McCoy is the music teacher, and William Kreitel is the principal. And that's it for St. Joseph Central. Thank you.
Uh, the next and last school to receive awards tonight is Weiser Park Arts Magnet. Ian Ames. Ian, come forward, please. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> teacher? teacher. Phyllis. Yes, and the teacher, the music teacher is uh, Phyllis Boyster, and the principal is Kent Martz. <laughs> Yeah. And now uh, Maria uh, Norman will do the uh, Indiana PTA Awards. It is recommended that the board recognize recipients of the Indiana PTA Awards. Fort Wayne Community Schools PTA staff and volunteers won major Indiana PTA awards during a celebration at their annual convention in April. Indiana PTA awards were presented in the categories of Outstanding Citizenship, Outstanding Unit, Outstanding Website, Outstanding Newsletter, Outstanding Social Media, and Outstanding Membership Achievement. The Voice for All Children was also awarded. Each of these awards were presented to the unit, volunteer, principal, or teacher that embodied the mission of PTA and the collaborative process between teachers, parents, and administrators to shape the future of Indiana's youth. Please come forward as, as your unit is read so that we may congratulate you. Voice for All Children, Jill, Leal St. Joseph Central PTA. Is Jill here? No. Okay, sorry. Um, Outstanding Citizenship, Haley Elementary School PTA, Jennifer Decker, President. Did you want to do pictures individually or just do the whole? Uh, how many more we have? Get through that. Get through, okay. Whole column. Maybe, and then. All right. Okay, all right. So Jennifer's not here. Correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, outstanding unit, Fort Wayne PTA Council, Kim Craighead, President, Young and Weiser Park PTA, Sarah Romines, President. Yeah, no, we didn't. All right, Weiser Park is here. Oh, that's young and wise. You have to break this. You know what we can do is do the Haley, and then we'll get on you together. Yeah. You move over that way. All right. We're doing it. Okay. And then uh, outstanding newsletter. Oh, Haley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. No, keep Website. going. Okay. We're going to take pictures. website, Fort Wayne PTA Council, Kim Craighead, President. Oh, here. Yeah, here she is. Yay. That's it? That for that one, yes. Out, well, yes, for that one. Yes. <laughs> Outstanding newsletter, 
Haley Elementary School PTA, Jennifer Decker, President. Okay, Haley Elementary School. <coughs> yeah, left. Okay. <laughs> Outstanding Social Media, Fort Wayne PTA Council, Krim, or Kim Craighead, President, Washington Center Elementary PTA, Michelle Evans, President. Okay, we'll do the next one. <laughs> 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 Outstanding Membership Achievement, Lane Middle School PTA, Tina Jazz, or Jazunjinski, President. <laughs> nope. No? Oh, dang. Okay, and that was it? Right here. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Okay, and then Maria is also going to take the Indiana State PTA Reflections Award. This one might partially clear the room. It may. It may. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> it is recommended that the board recognize students who were recipients of awards in the Indiana State PTA Reflections Program. A number of Fort Wayne Community School students were recognized by the Indiana PTA for their entries in the Citizenship and Reflections Program. The Reflections Program is open to students in kindergarten through grade 12. This year's theme was Within Reach, and the citizenship theme was What is the Heart of Our Country? Students express themselves through literature, visual art, photography, dance choreography, film and video production, musical composition, and essay. Please come forward as your name is read so that we may congratulate you. Uh, citizen Theme Search, uh, Bridget Kleingenberger, uh, Snyder High School Citizenship, and Chad Hisong, Principal. Okay. <laughs> uh, first place, Ayana Freeman Harris, Citizenship. Jana Ankenbrook is the principal there. Participation, Amaya Armstrong Harris, Elementary, Braden Ealing, uh, Harris Elementary, Bree Barnes, Harris, Thomas Williams, Harris, and Jana Ankenbrook, Principal. the students from Studi Elementary, Iran Roli, Rogelio Nava, sorry, what's your names, uh, Jaden Jenkins, Sierra Bauman, <laughs> sorry, she's still trying to get in here. They should have <laughs> the doorway clear so people can come and go. Aw, here she comes. Aw. She couldn't even see coming at the way. You're fine. Aldiana Riz Rizvik and Principal Beth Kleber.
All right, the next category is Outstanding Interpretation. First up, we have Kroninger Elementary. Uh, we have Sai Santosh in Dance. Caleb Miller, Photography. Gavin Cooler, Visual Arts. Carrie Kennedy, Principal. Scoot in. Elementary School, Eliana Brower, Music Composition, oh. Chloe Marks, Literature, oh. and uh, Gina, Jana Inkenbrook, Principal. Congratulations to Chloe Marks, who's going to nationals. Okay, and we're going to back up and uh, recognize Bridget Klingenberger from Snyder High School, recognized for citizenship. And Chad, his song is the principal there at Snyder. And you won't be here because he's at the other event. Come on. Congratulations. And then back to Outstanding Interpretation. Uh, we have Rebecca Ifrid from Haley Elementary, Music Composition, and their principal, Brandon White. Weston Detmer from Irwin Elementary being recognized in film production. And Safina Ansar, also from Irwin, being recognized for literature. And Ingrid Landrew Martin is the principal there at Irwin. Irwin? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Got it. You need to start Traffic. doing some body surfing. Here he oh comes. I'm broken. <laughs> Weston and Safina. Yes. Congratulations. What'd you do to your arm? What'd you do to your arm? Uh, monkey bars. Ooh. Those are dangerous. <laughs> hey. Round them up there. When Weston, step up there and get a picture. Safina, you get in there too. Oh, <laughs> He's supposed to be up there. Jana. Congratulations. 
cute. <laughs> Next up, we have Lawson Frank from Whitney Young Early Learning Center, being recognized for visual arts, and Melissa Plum is the principal there. Come on, Lawson. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have Paris Drew from Blackhawk being recognized in photography, and Kara Froning is the principal at Blackhawk. Next, we have Olivia McFerrin from Memorial Park uh, being recognized for dance. Principal there is Brad Kosher. Okay. okay. Next up, we have Award of Excellence, uh, Kroniger Elementary School, Lucas Cooler, Visual Arts. Come back around. Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> I, I read his name before, so see if he made it through the crowd. Jackson Shebel Whitmore Whitmore uh, being recognized for dance. Samantha Vance, dance. Maya Sundar, dance. <coughs> Carter Kelly. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here we got Maya. Okay. Carter Kelly, music composition. Grayson Roland, music composition. Like the shirt. Yeah, gotta have music. <laughs> Jeffrey Schaller, film production. Braylon Ferto, photography. Raya Singh, literature. Lucia Bruce, literature. Brianna, ooh, no, okay. Brenna. Okay. Brenna Spooler, literature. Lydia Carpenter, Literature, and Carrie Kennedy, Principal. Squeeze in. <laughs> All right, next up we have Haley Elementary School, Sienna Galloway, Music Composition. Aaron Vance for <laughs> photography. And Brandon White, principal. Yep, it's all that's on my list. Did we miss somebody? Vance, 
Vance. John Vance Photography. Yeah. He's up in the next group. Award of Merit in the next group. Oh, yeah. There's a seat right there in the front. Is there right here, John. <laughs> Have a seat right there in the front. Yeah. Not you, John. <laughs> Congratulations. Next up we have Eli Campbell from Harris Elementary being recognized for music composition. Jana Ankenbrook is the principal there. Okay. Eli, no? Okay. Nope. Next up from Harrison Hill, we have Ronald Wheeler Jr. being recognized for visual arts. And Shannon Rogers is the principal there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next from Irwin Elementary, we have Xavier Holbrook being recognized for film production. He's looking at himself. Stretch that out for 15 minutes. <laughs> Maxwell Warner being recognized for photography. Weston Detmer being recognized for photography. Come on, Weston. Yep. Ingrid Landrew Martin is the principal at Irwin. Lindley Elementary, we have Kenzie Shelton being recognized for music composition. Okay, uh, then we have Destiny Simpson from Whitney Young being recognized for visual arts. And Melissa Plum is the principal there, Whitney Young. Deonesty, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cute is my superpower. Blackhawk, we have Marissa Drew being recognized for visual arts and Kara Froning, uh, principal. All the middle, okay, yes. And then we have Memorial Park. We have Kimberly Escobar Castro from uh, being recognized in dance. Then we have Michaela Klima being recognized for photography. And Brad Kozier, principal. 
Yes. Next, we have the award of merit, Croninger Elementary, Harini Namini, being recognized in visual arts, Kylie Miller, being recognized for photography, Madison Griffith, being recognized for photography, Owen Potter, being recognized for music composition. Sean Walker, being recognized for music composition. And Carrie Kennedy, principal at Croninger. Haley Elementary School, we have John Vance being recognized for photography and Brandon White, principal. Yes, yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Harris Elementary School, we have Amaya Armstrong being recognized for literature. Benjamin Wilson being recognized for visual arts. <laughs> Casimir Snyder being recognized in photography. Grace Witted, being recognized for photography. Uh, Jacqueline Kappa, being recognized for photography. Yeah. Lola White, being recognized for photography. And Janet Inkenbrook, principal. Squeeze in. Being recognized from Harrison Hill Elementary, Mackenzie High is being recognized for both photography and literature. There's two, unless there's two. Next, we have Ray John Wheeler being recognized for literature, and Shannon Rogers is the principal there at Harrison Hill. Thank you. 
<laughs> Next from Lindley Elementary School, we have Promise Williams being recognized for music composition and Mary Canary, the principal there. Yeah. Yep. It's <laughs> a record for most picture takers, right? Next, from Whitney Young Early Learning Center, we have Ariana Ford being recognized in visual arts. Hi. Uh -huh. I love it. Uh, Benjamin Miller being recognized for visual arts. Right. Uh, lovely enthusiasm. This is the best board meeting. Uh, we have Miguel Oliva being recognized for visual arts. <laughs> and Melissa Plum, principal. You gotta run. You have to run. Skip Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> From Shawnee Middle School, we have Addison Hartman being recognized for dance. Then we have Miriam Rahimi being recognized in literature. And Maureen Bender, principal. I'll do the middle school, other middle school. Oh. Next, from Jefferson Middle School, Ava Precourt being recognized in literature, and Jeff King, principal at Jefferson Middle School. Honorable mention category, starting with Kroninger Elementary, Mackenzie Bowen being recognized for visual arts, and Carrie Kennedy, principal at Kroninger. Amazing how many people we took. <clears throat> Harrison Hill High or er, Harrison Hill Elementary School, uh, Angel Campos being recognized in visual arts, Samantha Sander, Sanders being recognized in visual arts, Shannon Rogers, principal. We need to put a screen 
back there so they can see themselves walking out. <laughs> Just like a graduation. Yeah. 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 Next, from Irwin Elementary School, Aria Lash in Visual Arts, nope. Bashir Ensar, Visual Arts, Sid Gotchtov Stein, Visual Arts, and Ingrid Landrew Martin, Principal. Yes, next, uh, Whitney Young Early Learning Center, Lola Durnell being recognized for visual arts, Michael Shorter, visual arts, Silas Clark, visual arts, Zulia Macias, visual arts, Okay. okay. Moving on. Okay. Um, from Black Hawk Middle School, Michael Mays, Visual Arts, and Kara Froning, Principal. We do all these together. Oh yes, we can do all the middle schools together. Uh, Maya Walda from Memorial Park Middle School, being recognized in Visual Arts. Brad Kozier, Principal. Um, then from Shawnee, we have Aaron Robinson being recognized for visual arts, and Tiana Redhawk uh, being recognized honorable mention, <laughs> and Maureen Bender, principal. Okay, next we have the E Cyber Mission competition. Tom, Thank you're you. up. And thanks for doing all that heavy lifting. That was wonderful. I appreciate Thank that. <laughs> it is recommended that the board recognize the students who place first in the state and in the top three regionally in the 2018 seventh grade e cyber competition the memorial park seventh grade team the pirate converters finished first in indiana and third out of 320 projects in the 11 state region in the 2017 18 e cyber mission national science competition for their first place finish each member of the team will receive $2,000 savings bond. Wow. Yeah, hey. That's very yeah. I want to be part of that team. Uh, <laughs> the pirate converters worked on an idea suggested by Mayor Tom Henry and designed an outdoor learning center for the school. The project involved finding organic waste substances in the city trash that could be converted into a large amount of methane which could then drive a generator to produce electrical energy. So as I call your name, please come forward. We have Fiona Gotchtov-Stein, 
Grace Gilly, Hannah Offhouse, and Audrey Woodruff. Please come forward. And Larry Lesh is the advisor, and Bradley Crozier is the principal. So, Mike Woodruff, do, do coffee grounds qualify as organic waste? Absolutely. We can convert it into a lot of things. But not coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. $2,000. No kidding. Okay, next we have the um, Indiana Academic Super Bowl Junior Winners. Uh, it's, recognized, uh, it's recommended that the board recognize the schools that placed in the top 10 at the recent Indiana Academic Super Bowl Junior Competition. Um, each year, students from across the state compete in the Indiana Academic Super Bowl Junior Division. And the following middle schools ranked um, as listed here and went on to finish in the top 10 in state competition. This is a competition that annually um, test students' knowledge in English, social studies, math, science, and interdisciplinary studies. So first from Jefferson Middle School, the ninth place science team, Micah Gilman, Noah Hafner, Ethan McLean, Jacob Grayless. And Sarah Wilkins, coach. Jean Davis, coach. Douglas Bishop, coach. Christine Matthews, coach. And Jeff King, principal. Everybody squeeze in. And from Lane Middle School, eighth place in the state, interdisciplinary, Tommy Song, Christopher Deers. Is that right? Okay. Ella Moss, Elijah Ahrens, and Simone McGow McCowan. Uh, Tricia Riders, coach, Kyle Workham, coach, and Matt Heron, principal. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you. Congratulations. Uh, from Blackhawk Middle School, uh, placing in seventh place in the state in English, Christian Hernandez, Danelle Adams Jones, Madison Surveyeth, Zachary Walker, and Jaden Eastham. Coach Sally Godfrey, Coach Leslie Congdon, and Kara Froning, Principal. And from Jefferson Middle School, placing sixth place in English, Alyssa Malinowski, Annalise Fazero, Maddox Duvall, and Isabella Rohde. Coach Sarah Wilkins, and Jean Davis, and Douglas Bishop, and Christine Matthews, and Jeff King, principal. <laughs> they are busy. Good job. What's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Memorial Park Middle School, uh, finishing sixth place in interdisciplinary. Audrey Kraus. Holden Robbins. Lucas Seng. And Gwen Jackway. Uh, Coach Jacob Scare. Coach Teresa Crow. Coach Michael Benz. Coach Heather Urigui. <laughs> what is it? Tell me what it is. Urigui. Urigui. And Brad Crozier, principal. From Shawnee Middle School, placing fourth place in English, uh, McKaylin Lort, yes. 
Michaela and I assume you had some teammates who couldn't be here tonight, or was it all you? All you, baby? Yeah. Nicely done. <laughs> wow. <Nice. laughs> uh, Coach Molly Quinn, Coach Teresa Wagner, Coach Tracy Stebbins. That had to be kind of overwhelming, mm -hmm. three on one. And Principal Maureen Bender. All her. Good job. That's awesome. Good job, Michaela. Good job. <laughs> it is. That's it's awesome. Impressive. See you next year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, from Tolls uh, New Tech, fourth place in social studies, Carson Dancer, Landon Dancer, Kyle Stark, and Eric Bursiaga. Sally Benjamin Butler, coach. Jessica Walters, coach. And Tim Captain, principal. Scooch in. Scooch, scooch. I'll get in the back. Also from Tolls New Tech, um, and they finished second place in the state in interdisciplinary, running back to get in line. Uh, Logan Weber, Mias Sartain, Z Toon. Carson Dancer and James Hagen and Sally Benjamin Butler coach, Jessica Walters coach, and Tim Captain principal. Just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Scooch in, scooch to the center. Scooch, scooch. Can you still get everybody in? So second place, how close to first? One question? Ooh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, well, good job. Good job. <laughs> okay, and now we have the uh, can. Instruction um, competition and Glenna, I believe you're going to take that. So the board is, <laughs> uh, is delighted to recognize the Tolls New Tech Can Instruction team for winning three awards and being entered into international competition. Each year, the students from Fort Wayne Community Schools compete in the Can Instruction event at Glenbrook Square Mall. This year, the Tolls New Tech team won Best Use of Labels, 
most cans in construction, and People's Choice. The People's Choice Award earned the team $1,000 towards next year's display, and the team competed against nine high schools and one other middle school, and will now be entered into the three winning categories in the International Construction Competition. So, this year's structure featured famous leaders, music, and events from the 1960s, including John F. Kennedy, Martin Luther King Jr., the Beatles' Abbey Road album, and the Apollo 11 mission. Please come forward as your name is read, as we would like to congratulate you. Carson Dancer is the co-captain. <laughs> Alexander Haig is also another co-captain. Eric Bercy Aga is also on the team. Landon Dancer, Trenton Gibson, Noquisi Guest, Connor Houghton Thompson, Henry Myers, Caden Moore, Isabella Nichols. <laughs> Brody Odier Odier Parker Payton Jake Richardson, Zachary Reiskamp, <laughs> Mia Sartain, <laughs> Sophia Shaw, Nikki Stahl, Kyle Stark, Grant Stone, Zay Tun, Peyton Swinford, Connor Swoverland, Audrey Wenta, Grace Young. So these are all going to international competition. Their advisor is Tia McFarthing. Also advising is Carissa Richardson Larman. And the principal is Tim Captain. Congratulations. So when you go to international competitions, does that mean you have to tear it down and rebuild it all again? Yeah, the way it works is they take pictures of our original structure and submit it. And are all of these pictures yours? Yes, all of those pictures are from our structure. Awesome. So it's all part of one structure, right? It's just various parts of the same structure. And look how many cans they use. Yeah. Amazing. No wonder they have such a big 8,734 cans. Wow. What that way? What do you think of that? Oh, okay. I see the I see the I see your mouth. I see your mouth. I'm guessing that we don't know it's about 5,000 pounds. <laughs> so you like lay it all out on graph paper first? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Carissa. <laughs> I know. Okay, now you can step to the mic. 
star, step over her, your teacher. Don't bump her. And she can answer, and you can answer questions. So just stand here and answer questions. So when, when do we find out the results of the international competition? Usually it's um, January or February of next year. Oh, wow. So oh, we got okay. Some okay. And yeah, we did, um, we laid out on graph paper, and then they actually worked with some computer programming to um, adjust it a little bit more, and then we built a 3D model oh. before we even start with the cans. And why don't you answer that question that she asked about, do you tear it down and start all over? Oh, we did not tear it down and stand, and build it back over. We actually just they take the pictures from the actual competition and submit them to the international competition. Okay. <clears throat> but now, now did you build it at school first and then take it to Glenbrook or did you just build it once? So we built it in one of the classrooms at school. We okay. tried to get two builds in but we almost got one in just because we ran out of time and the structure was so big. Yeah. But we built it up just to get a little practice in and then we tore it back down, took all the cans to Glenbrook Mall and then built it again. Okay. Cool. Is there a time limit when you build it at Glenbrook? Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Oh, okay. Oh, Very good. And we used about a, all of it. Ten, <laughs> Close ten to twelve. Half really, ten and a half hours. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, congrats. No. Who who wants to be an engineer? Absolutely. Very good. Okay. Well, you got a good start. Thank you. Thanks. So next we have the uh, Health Occupations and Skills USA. Steve, I believe you're going to do Did they say that they give all the food to hungry families? They work with Community Harvest? Did they say that? I think when you, okay. they donate. I think when you vote, like part of the voting is, I think, by cans maybe. But it says in their information that over 1,300 additional cans. I do think all the cans get donated, donated to the Community Harvest Food yeah. Bank. Plus, then there were additional 1,300, so like over 10,000 cans. Okay. Well, before I do this, there was a suggestion that we find another venue for this for next year, <laughs> and I am going to make an early suggestion that we move this to the Clyde Theater, <laughs> which has less of space. Parking lot is paved. We'd have a lot of fun there. Okay, uh, it's recommended that the board recognize the FWCS Career Academy students who placed in the top 10 in the Health Occupation Students of America's State Leadership Awards. Health Occupation Students of America is a career and technical education student organization. Students explore healthcare professions, develop leadership qualities, professionalism, gain competence, in the patient care setting, earn college credit, and provide community service. So at the State Leadership Conference in Indianapolis, students competed at many events using skills they learned in class or at their clinical sites. So as I read your names, uh, you please come forward so we may recognize and congratulate you. Savannah Wood, first place in medical assisting and Giselle Zarato, third place in medical assisting. Of course, they had lots of help in their schools, uh, at school with their advisors. Vicki Williams is the instructor, CNA, HOSA advisor. Susie Camp is the dental instructor. Lisa Schaefer is the medical assisting instructor. Jill McGathick is the instructor in the introductory to healthcare uh, careers program. And at least for the next three weeks, Larry Gerardo, the principal <laughs> at the Career Academy. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Another award for Career Academy students, uh, and we're going to recognize state champions in the Indiana Skills USA competitions. The Skills USA Championship is the showcase for the best career and technical education students in the nation. The philosophy of the championships is to reward students for excellence, to involve industry in directly evaluating student performance, and to keep training relevant to employers' needs. This year, nine Career Academy students placed first in the state, qualifying them to compete at the National Conference in June, which is going to be in Louisville, Kentucky this year. These students are among the top 2% skilled in the nation and had to work their way through a series of local and regional competitions prior to participating in the state contest. The Career Academy also had a total of 26 second and third place winners, so they did outstanding. Please come forward as we recognize and congratulate you. And of course, some students may not be here because of other activities um, this evening. Uh, and I may need a little help on this first name. Is it Jaquez? Jaquez, Jaquez Swift, first place in cabinet making. Mm. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep that in mind when you need a little project at home. <laughs> Corey Flesher, first place electrical construction wiring. Preston Barnwell, first place in pin design. Eric Hartman, first place in plumbing. Justin Gardner, first place promotional bulletin board team. Along with him are Jaden Gibson as a part of that promotional bulletin board team. Gabe Larson, a part of that team as well. Macy Butler, first place restaurant service. Terrence Smith picks up two awards, first place in t-shirt design and second place in advertising design. Oh yeah. A couple of more folks here. Um, Kyle Gilbert, second place in cabinet making. Diego Salazar, second place in culinary arts. Danny Quinnettle, second place in job skill demonstration. Did I get your name right? Thank you. Cole Koenig, second place in masonry. Shine Ong, second place pin design. Drew Fluger, second place in plumbing. Plumbing is a job that will not be taken overseas. We're going to always have a great need for plumbers in this country. OK, uh, let me continue with this uh, list of names. Aspen Cartwright, second place promotional bulletin board team. Part of that team, Ariana Danton, Dalton Pearson. Chloe Weikert took second place in t-shirt design. Brooklyn Luger, third place advertising design. Jacob Berry, third place in carpentry. Here's the first of three Nino brothers. Adrian, third place digital cinema production team. Also a part of that team were Hunter Odier and James Byron. Brooklyn Luger, third place in pin design. Andres Nino, third place promotional bulletin board team, also a part of that team with Andres Jose Carmona and Logan Connor. Kyle Dreyer took third place in sheet metal. Brooklyn Luger, another award, this time third place in t-shirt design. Max Beam, third place in Teamworks. Along with him, Marshall Cundard, Denny Nino, and Martin Vargas, all third place on the Teamworks competition. Instructors, Karen Gilley, Kathy Wise, Christopher Roberts, Nick Mers, Ann Applegate, Elizabeth Kirk, Jonathan Capps and Principal Larry Gerardo.
Congratulations, students. Hey, Chris, Chris, Chris. Where are you guys building your house right now? Where's your classroom? Really? May 30th. At what time? All day. Really? You, we understand how many people we can get in a tiny house. <laughs> Really? That's cool. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, next we have the um, Indiana High School Dance Team Competition uh, State Finalists. Glenna? So the board is uh, wanting to recognize the Northru Northrop High School Dance Team members who placed in the top 10 at state. So the Northrop dance teams earned the opportunity to compete at state after successfully winning at the invitationals and regionals. The state finals were held in March and the Northrop dance team was very well represented with top 10 finishes in the following areas. Uh, fifth place in hip hop, eighth place in varsity jazz, third place in junior varsity hip hop, fifth place in junior varsity jazz. Macy Steer, Amelia Schemos, and Anna Forster all placed fourth in the small ensemble category. Please come forward as we read your name. Fong Dong, Lindsay Dubea, Anna Foster, Kayla Skevington, Amelia Schemas, Macy Steer, Allison Waite, and Lisa Helmuth is the head coach, and Jason Dancing Injury Witzigruder is the <laughs> principal. <laughs> Dancers get injured a lot. Congratulations. Good job, Amelia. <laughs> So next we have the uh, ISMA State Choral Competition finalists. Uh, the board wishes to recognize the Northrop High School choral groups, Charisma and Allure, for qualifying to perform in the top 10 show choirs in the 2018 Indiana State Music Association Choral Competition. Northrop High School's Charisma and Allure each qualified for the ISMA State Show Choir Contest through a series of qualifying event, uh, events. Allure finished ninth in state and Charisma finished seventh. Charisma has finished, uh, qualified for state every year since competition began. So please come forward as your name is read. Uh, Holly Bieber, Maddie Gruber, Makaya Chacon, Caitlin Chilcoat, Vanessa Navarro, Desiree Langhorn, Lexi Skembos, Kylie King, Kirsten Lenemeyer, Payton 
Proctor, Kyla Cruz, Michaela Kallenbeck, <laughs> Camry Thomas. I think I said Michaela Kallenbeck. Okay. Mimi Tran. Jocelyn Lane. Elizabeth Houchen. Marcus Bell. Jaden Cano, Mac Hathaway, Noah Marino, Andrew Clark, Mateo Rivas, and Eric Borjas. So, did we miss a name? What's your name? Jerko? Chilko? Oh, yeah, I said that, I think. Caitlin Chilko, yeah. <laughs> I probably whispered it or something like that, you know, just to trick you. Scooch in, scooch in, scooch in. Julie. Julie. The get the principal in Tom. So come on down, Tom Muffin, vocal music instructor, Chris Razor, choreographer, Rob Wilson, band director, Stephen May, assistant director, and Jason Witzegruder, principal. Schlinsker, Schlinsker, Gabby Berry, Sierra McDowell, Jasmine Sane, Jade Perez, Maddie Harder, Jessica Mayer, and Megan Sparks. Why are they all over there? 
Now, are we missing anybody, or is this the next group? Okay. This is the next group. No, that's scrunch. Don't go that far. Okay. You need two lines. Come on. <laughs> no. No. Why can't they talk about it? They're talking about it. So now we have to have writers. Did you get everybody? All right. We won't move until you take the picture. Yeah, because y'all would have been getting up. Y'all would have had somebody have to help me. This is what they say. You get down there, you can't get back up. Yeah, it is. Plenty of seats now. Come on in. Plenty of seats. <laughs> Move up to the front. Okay, next we have the ISMA All Music Awards. Um, Jordan? It's recommended that the board recognize the Northrop and Snyder High School bands for receiving the Indiana State School Music Association All Music Awards for the school year 2017-2018. The ISMA All Music Award is designed to recognize well-rounded school music programs. To qualify for the All Music Award in band, schools must earn a gold rating at the district marching competition, qualify at least one soloist, and one ensemble for the state contest by earning a gold rating and earn a gold rating at the jazz contest, contest as well as a gold rating at the organization or concert band contest. The Northrop Band qualified for this award by qualifying for scholastic finals for marching band, having one solo and one ensemble qualify for the state solo and ensemble competi competitions and receiving a gold with distinction at the ISMA Jazz Festival, as well as receiving a gold at the Concert Band Festival. The award represents a high level of achievement for Northrop students across many categories. The Snyder Band has won the ISMA All Music Award each of the past 15 years. From Northrop, please come forward as I call your name, Stephanie Dishnika. Jenny Howard Wrights, Band Director Robert Wilson, and Principal Jason Witzergruder. <laughs> and now representing Snyder, Alexandra Moss, Dakota Seibert, Emily Stetka, Kevin Klee, Band Director, Helen Hockemeyer, Assistant Director, and Chad Hissong, Principal. And Jordan, I believe you also have the uh, ISMA Jazz Band State Finals. I do. Uh, okay. The board would like to recognize Northside and Snyder for placing in the top ten in the state at the ISMA Jazz Band Finals. The Northside and Snyder Jazz Bands qualified for the Indiana State School Music Association Jazz Band State Finals. Northside's band took the top honor band 
Snyder's Jazz Band has been named a state finalist. High school jazz bands from around the state participated in the ISMA Jazz Contest in early March, and the top bands moved on to participate in the finals on March 16th at North Central High School. In addition to the top honor band distinctions, Northside won Best Trumpet Section and Best Rhythm Section. Northside students also took four of the five solo awards. Wow. Theo Garcia won the Best Trumpet Solo, Caleb Barone won the Best Trombone Solo, Garrett Spulhoff won the Best Rhythm Section Solo, and Chris Hughes won the Best Flute Solo. Snyder's Jazz Band placed in the top 10 in the state. Representing Northside, and please come forward as I read your name, Jay Pettit, Elijah Nagel, Theo Garcia, Garrett Spulhoff, Kellen Baker, Israel Robles, Matei Richardson, Matt Murphy, Nate King, <laughs> David Mencia, <laughs> Aiden Henning, John Miley. <laughs> Chris Hughes, Amber Grace, Caleb Barone, that name was made for the trombone. Yep, Aaron Sturrott. <laughs> Trayton Perkins, <laughs> Sophie Steele, Simon Palmer, Ethan Grimes, Devon Holloway, Nate Quaitons, <laughs> Nate, I guess I butchered that, didn't I? Quaitons, <laughs> Amber Dreesey. She gonna get him in line. <laughs> Elijah Hardesty. Nobody wants to go to and band director Ed King and principal David West. <laughs> Can you imagine how great these students would sound if we do this at the Clyde next year? They built it for you. Oh, 
say to me is I can't let Mr. King retire. I know. I mean, I've been threatened, actually. Mm. So I have to remind him of that. I know. And now representing Snyder High School, Grace Tata. <clears throat> Alex Adams. <laughs> Logan Craighead, Alex Van Cleve, Brandon Crable, Evan Brown, Jackson Reed. <laughs> Stephen Weibel, Band Director Kevin Klee, and Principal Chad Pissong. And uh, last but not least, we um, have the Indiana Association of School Principals Rising Stars um, Awards. It recommended that the board recognize the Northside High School students who were named 2019 Rising Stars by the Indiana Association of School Principals. Each Indiana high school was invited to recognize up to four students currently in 11th grade based on academic achievement. Northside High School selected the following four students. Uh, Bailey Perry, Aiden Redmond, 
Let's make a lot of noise. <laughs> Aiden is taking dual credit courses. He plans to attend Purdue and study astronautical engineering. Oh. Woo. He's involved in the Robotics Club, World Language Club, Student Council, and National Honor Society. Elizabeth Roberts. Noise. Woo. Elizabeth is also taking dual credit courses. She wishes to study English and creative writing at Indiana University. She is involved in dance, the Gay and Straight Alliance, and National Honor Society. Uh, the fourth, and the fourth student is Sophie Steele. Don't cheer for her, too. Yeah. Yep. And David West, principal. That is Board the end. <laughs> Dr. Robinson, that's just practice for graduation. <laughs> yep. So we have nothing else on our meeting agenda. We will meet uh, a week from tonight in our regular meeting on uh, May 21st. Um, any comments? A lot of fun. Yeah, wonderful night. Anything else? Wonderful. Dr. Right. Robinson, anything? Uh, it is amazing. We have less than three weeks left in school. Um, that's all I'm going to say. All right. And we're already planning for next year, so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, board members. Um, we will we'll find a bigger place, and we've got to also make sure uh, we will work on trying to get it broadcast, because some people right. can't come. Right. And, and like so you said, we even, are, we'll get it broadcast. even if we video it and we mm -hmm. can uh, uh, broadcast it later, yeah, then we'll it people out. can sit at home and watch themselves. That's true. I actually <laughs> took Steve's Clyde theater commentary to mean that we ought to be pushing ISMA to have the actual competition at the Clyde. Mm -hmm. Hey. Good idea. Regionals, at least. Possibility. Okay. Good. Move for adjournment, Madam Chair. Second. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Jordan. All those in favor of adjourning? Aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned.